Hey HK fans, James here with another Target of Opportunity video here at HK's Gray Room in Columbus, Georgia. Uh, had to take the time to showcase the HK433. It's one of the ones that I know that most of the fans really want to see more of, and we just haven't seen it here in the U.S. Uh, very often, uh, but they've got it here uh, in the Gray Room now. So let's take a closer look at this weapon. Um, what I think I could best describe it as is really a merger of earlier successful H&K designs. You take the G36 platform, you take the 416 platform, and, uh, and those two have a baby. That's what the 433 is uh, with all of the latest advancements that you want. You still got um, a piston-driven uh, operating system, which is clean and reliable, still uh, the cold hammer forged barrels, um, but now you've got um, kind of the best of both worlds in that respect. What I really like about it is they've taken the same kind of forward charging handle uh, system that we're used to from the MP5 and the G3 design, as well as what we've seen with the uh, G36, where it pivots out and can rotate back and forth, and it's uh, actually reversible. So if you're a left-handed shooter, you could put it on the other side for yourself as well. You pull it all the way back with an empty magazine in the gun. It holds the bolt open on the last round. There is an ambidextrous bolt lock and bolt release. If I push back on this and pull this back, um, it would lock it back. Um, but since I have an empty magazine in there, it's held it back. Pushing back down on that will release the bolt forward again. Ambidextrous paddle mag release releases the magazine. It'll take any AR-15 mil-spec uh, style magazine. Ambidextrous um, selector lever for safe, semi, and fully automatic. And it's got a case deflector uh, here on the right side as well full length Picatinny uh, rail for any kind of optics, lasers, or other accessories you want. Um, we've got H&K's latest flip up um, iron sight uh, set up here. And then you can see an updated M-Lock style handguard with Picatinny sections on the bottom. And then because suppressed use is, is so much in demand, uh, these all have an adjustable gas regulator where you can set it for in for normal setting or if you put a suppressor on the weapon, uh, switch it over to your S for suppressed uh, usage and optimize the weapon. Uh, traditional kind of uh, HK416 uh, grip design. And then what I really like is the new stock setup. So it is a multi-position length of pull stock that also has a adjustable uh, cheek riser that's incorporated into it. And it folds over to the side for compactness and is held in place with your case deflector on the, uh, the right side of the weapon. So it makes it much more compact and, and very adjustable for the user. If you wanna break it down, well, just like we've seen uh, in previous weapons, H&K loves to use their push pin design. This push pin design is actually captive, so it doesn't remove itself, um, but the whole trigger group swings off just like what we've seen in the G36 series. Then you open up the rear, and again, like the G36 series, you push down on the back, and a similar recoil rod assembly will remove out the rear, tip it upside down, and again, very much like what we've seen in the G36, um, the bolt carrier group with a fixed uh, recoil, uh, uh, sorry, uh, guide rod here for the piston to operate against, rotating bolt design, very reliable. Obviously, fits back in, everything goes back in reverse as you would expect. There you go. And that's the HK433. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks, guys.